Hello, everybody. Our team at GE Research is honored to be recognized for our dielectric excitation methodology of metal oxide gas sensing materials with the 2021 AMA Innovation Award. In accepting this award, we are standing on the shoulders of giants. In the early 1960s, Nayoshi Taguchi brought metal oxide camera resistors to important markets of air quality alarms for residential, industrial, and automotive applications. Starting in 1980s, Wolfgang Gopal and his students developed theoretical basis of metal oxide camera resistors and brought impedance spectroscopy for characterization of these materials. But no sensor is ever perfect. The top four limitations of metal oxide chemical resistors are, first, their nonlinearity, leading to narrow dynamic range and calibration cost. Second, their poor stability, leading to frequent maintenance. Third and fourth, effects of ambient temperature and different gases, both leading to accuracy loss. All these are accepted status quo limitations by the nature of these materials and their resistance readout. These limitations are like strong chains that keep the sensors from lifting off to enter new emerging markets, ranging from $3 billion market of industrial safety to $15 billion market of health monitoring and to $20 billion market of wearable sensors. In our work, we break the chains of performance limitations of metal oxide chemical resistors. We developed a measurement methodology of conventional metal oxides, which is very different from resistance measurements. We call it dielectric excitation, where we measure gas responses at the shoulder of the dielectric relaxation peak of N and P type metal oxides. Such measurement methodology brings highly desired but previously unavailable performance attributes of metal oxides. First, we show linear sensor response with gases and vapors of different nature. Second, we show dynamic range of gas detection over six orders of magnitude. Third, we show the improved limit of detection by 50-fold compared to resistance readout. Fourth, we show reduced humidity effects and eliminated ambient temperature effects. We also take advantage of accumulation of advances in microelectronics and move away from desktop to integrated circuit impedance analyzers and synergistically couple these circuits with our advances in onboard data analytics. In this way, we are building wearable systems with performance competing with traditional analytical instruments. Achieving these capabilities does involve long hours. We thank our loved ones for their support. Thank you.